So here is the Red Project's M104 block. Don't pay much attention to the cross-hatching patterns. That was just me screwing around with a honing tool, as I knew the engine was being rebuilt anyway. There were still some honing marks left, which is remarkable for an engine with 307,000 kilometers. But what's not so remarkable is the wear in the piston reversal areas. Not so much at the bottom, but at the top. The bores do measure to specification in the middle, but that's only one third of the story. The upper and lower reversal areas also need to be measured, and while I could not measure a difference with the measuring instruments I own, I can actually feel it. This is why I decided to go ahead and do a total engine rebuild. Just out of interest, if anyone cares, you can see the uh, wall thickness of the bores on the M104 block here. Uh, it is thicker at the top, obviously. Unfortunately, I don't have an ultrasonic uh, measuring tool. I'd love to know what the actual bore thickness is stock. Uh, it seems pretty thick. Just looking at it, it looks like it's more than 5 millimeters, which is uh, quite impressive, really. This came as a bit of a surprise. I'm kind of glad that I didn't try removing this connector because I have a feeling it would end in tears. There's quite a lot of uh, gunk and corrosion at the end of that fitting. I might just leave that for the uh, machine shop to deal with because I don't really want to destroy this block and have it uh, break if I try and force that out. I'm sure it will be fine though. Here's just a quick view from the rear side. As you can see on the left hand side, those drillings are for the piston cooling oil squirters. I did remove those uh, obviously already. I just have to make sure my new pistons will clear those, but the machine shop will take care of that if they don't. <laughs> 